Hi guys, so today is a very special video that I'm making. Uh, yeah. We decided to participate with my family to a research uh, project about the monarch butterfly. And uh, it, it's with the um, botanical garden here in my hometown. So uh, for a fee of $100, uh, you would get a plant like this one. A bunch of money! Yes. Uh, that's my daughter there. Uh, it's called the Asclepiad and uh, you get the plant and then you also get uh, five uh, baby worm uh, monarchs before they transform into a chrysalid. So right now I'm gonna try and find a few for you. They're in the leaves, they're eating. So I think I found one up here. If I can show it to you. Oh, there it is. Now the the camera can focus on her. <gasps> there it is. Look at that. Now they used to be a few millimeters long when we got them. They were tiny, tinny. And look at her. She's big and fat. Now I don't know how big they're supposed to get. They said they should get as big as my pinky finger. I don't think they're still as big as that. I think they still need to grow a little bit more. Here's oh, there's one right there. Here's another one. And look at the leaf that's been eaten. I think she ate it. And there's another one here. Look at her. That's she, huge. I love, yes. I love the colors on them. And this is the only plant they will eat. Uh, they eat the leaves, they eat the flowers, and when there's no more leaves and flowers, they would start to eat uh, the, um, actually, uh, the whole plant itself. So they should get bigger and turn into a chrysalid before they eat the whole plant because I really want to keep the plant and uh, put it next summer outside so that we could have monarchs outside our garden. And we get, with the project, you get five little worms like this and you get one chrysalid already. Yeah. So look at the chrysalid. Look at her. Okay. Let's see if we can get closer. Can you see the wings through the cocoon? Tell us in the comments if you can see the wings. Yeah. <laughs> and the cocoon, when we received it, it was green, green, green like these, these plants here. Yeah. And now it's turning black. And we're supposed to see uh, the spots already of the monarch, which is, you know, typical of them. So when they turn black completely like this, uh, according to the scientists, sh the butterfly is supposed to come out uh, within 24 hours. Now we're waiting for that moment. We're hoping that we could catch it on film, but these things tend to happen when people are not recording. Mommy one, one day broke her a wing about a butterfly. <laughs> it, it, was, it was an accident. An accident. Yes. And um, unless I put a camera 24 hours on the chrysalid, which I won't do because I don't have that type of camera, I'm just gonna see if I can, we can catch it when she comes out of the uh, cocoon. So when she comes out, it's supposed to look something like this. Okay. It's supposed to look. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. I'm sorry. Because I'm still focusing too much. Oh, like this. It's upside down, baby. Oh, okay. Turn it around. Right. right. It's supposed to look like this. How would... How she will come out. How he so will. hopefully we get to see that moment. And then we're supposed to wait for the wings to dry off. And when she, this, the wings are strong enough, we're supposed to catch it. We're supposed to tag it. And we're supposed to let it go free. But, 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 but only if he bats his wings. Yes. And that is the process that really has me really nervous because I really don't want don't want to hurt them or harm them in any way. And uh, then they're supposed to fly off to Mexico. So we're in Canada, and they do all the they fly down all the way to Mexico. And uh, the reason the reason they're doing this project is because the monarch is actually uh, in danger of extinction. Uh, there's less and less butterflies each year. And so they're doing this research project to see uh, if the monarchs actually make it to Mexico and uh, also uh, how many of them make it and uh, what they can do to improve uh, the population. So 
according to research, it's because in Mexico, the trees where they breed are being cut down and uh, also the change in temperature. The chrysalids need a very uh, specific temperature to be able to, f to become a butterfly. So hopefully ours will. I hope it won't abort. Sometimes they do abort their metamorphosis and they do not become butterflies. So I really hope that doesn't happen to us. So this is it. This is the plant and I wish I can... Oh, wait, my daughter wants to show you something. This is how it's supposed to look like. Okay, wait, let this me see. This is how it's supposed to look like. Oh, look at that, yeah. The chrysalid, you can see the wings. It's orange, which we don't really see on our chrysalid. No. We don't see the orange on it, so maybe it's still not time for her. So we'll see. And um, we're also supposed to identify if it's a male or female. So thank God I have a little book on that so that we can identify them easily. Wow. And uh, the plant is a very beautiful plant. Look at the flowers on this thing. And the smell, yeah. it's very difficult to describe the smell. It's like a sort of spicy, <laughs> it's a spicy smell. And it must it's be... It's a pepper plant. <laughs> yeah. It must be really alluring to the uh, butterflies because uh, it's the only plant that that they will uh, put their eggs in so that little worms can feed on it. So, one last time we'll show you a little worm. Let me see if I can find it again. There it is. Look at that. Look how she ate the plant. She's really, really big. Or he. We don't know if it's a she or a he yet. I'm sure there's a way to tell in worms, but I am not an entomologist, so I will not, I won't be able to tell you. So that's it for this video. We will keep posting you on our progress with the little monarchs. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to see this little guy become a butterfly, but I do not guarantee it. And But we will record when we will let her uh, free uh, to begin her big migration down south. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, say bye baby. Bye. Bye. Have a good day.